All right, all my Nicopediacs, we are back for some more science time experiments in the backyard today. This is what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be making hydrogen gas out of aluminum foil and like drain cleaner. So now, this drain cleaner right here, the, the item that we're trying to get out of this is sodium hydroxide. We have a more pure form, sodium hydroxide. It's very caustic. It's gonna like melt your face off. So um, we're gonna mix some of that with some water, and then we're gonna put that in this container. We're gonna put that in here, mix with tin foil, or sorry, aluminum foil. Um, now aluminum foil has this like little outer waxy coating, right? And as soon as the sodium hydroxide eats through that, it gets to the actual aluminum, and the aluminum and the sodium hydroxide come together to create sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas. Uh, and the hydrogen gas is extremely flammable. So we're gonna put that into a balloon and then we're gonna attach that balloon right to here and then we're gonna light that balloon and we're gonna see what happens. Sodium hydroxide, no joke. Uh, also called lye, it's what is used to make soap. So if you have any type of like, uh, you know, oil or fat and you mix it with lye, um, again, sodium hydroxide, you get soaponification. And we're doing this experiment, by the way, because we do all the workups for Smosh Lab. Those guys are awesome, by the way. They're all super rad. I'm so happy to be part of that channel. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my, again, a lime, my sodium hydroxide. Do not get this on your skin. You can buy this stuff um, actually at hardware stores. You can just buy straight up lye. And that ain't no lie. So this reaction actually is a exothermic reaction, mixing the water and the lye together, which means it um, generates heat, gives off heat. If you touch this, it's really warm. This is just re regular old, got this from the grocery store. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're getting the reaction immediately. Ooh, that bottle's hot. Ooh. Ooh, it is hot. That balloon is, whew, it is hot, 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 hot. I mean, I can barely touch the, the top of that. Okay, so that's that's our hydrogen gas balloon right there. And I'm gonna tape it to this mic stand, which we found here in our, our amazing Glendale House studio. We're gonna tape a match to this, and then we're gonna see what happens with our fire and hopefully we've caught a lot of hydrogen in this balloon we're going to see what happens when you put the uh the fire on the hydrogen supposedly it burns we shall see Well, we definitely harnessed some hydrogen gas and uh, it definitely exploded. So I'd say that's pretty much a success. It's gonna be really weird when we do this in studio. P.S. I'm not gonna tell Shane Top anything, like nothing. I'm just gonna be like, yeah man, light it up. And I'm gonna be sitting over there, I'm gonna back away a little bit. I'm just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna cover my ears now. It's gonna be great. All right, let's light up the other one. This one's a lot bigger. I think we're gonna get a bigger boom. Oh yes. Okay, don't keep. Gonna get a little further back on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Boom goes the hydrogen. Like right here? Yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah. Perfect framing. All right, so that was it. We made hydrogen gas from our aluminum foil and our sodium hydroxide mixture, and it was explosive. Um, 
pun intended there. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Let me know which explosion you thought was the coolest. We have new videos coming out every Tuesday and every Friday. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because we have new experiments like this coming out like all the time. And we'll see you really soon.